compliqué. Vous avez une équipe euh, plutôt jeune. Alors, il, y a, il y a John, bien sûr, mais, mais pour les autres, c'est une équipe plutôt jeune. Est-ce que tu as un rôle particulier vis-à-vis d'eux Oui, bien sûr. Je crois qu'on on est, on est une équipe, donc euh, on est là tous à, avec le même bus. Et, euh, euh, et même si on a beaucoup de jeunes dans l'équipe, euh, ils sont vraiment super motivés. Ils connaissent déjà très bien leur, euh, leur travail et, euh, et un peu les, les rouages du, de la manière dont on peut avoir des résultats tous ensemble. Donc, euh, moi, je suis voilà, super confiant sur, sur, sur notre équipe. Euh, on a des jeunes super talentueux. Pour, pour beaucoup d'entre eux, ça va être leur premier tour. Mais euh, ils sont armés. Et, euh, et voilà, avec John, euh, Nils aussi, qui a, de, qui a de l'expérience, on va être là pour les, pour les entourer et pour faire une belle course tous ensemble. Emily, I think you can start with the question from the chat. Okay, questions from elsewhere. Guys, if you have your microphone not on mute while you're speaking, can you mute it? I think there's quite some interference. More questions? Romain, moi j'aurais une question. Euh, Laurent Calmu du, du journal La Montagne. Il, il va manquer Julien. Euh... Euh, Julien Lafélie, sur ce Tour de France, euh, qu'est-ce que ça vous fait vous ouais, Je pense que c'était euh, bien sûr dommageable pour le, pour le monde du vélo en général et pour le cyclisme français en particulier. On a la chance d'avoir un, un des plus grands coureurs du peloton euh, qui porte euh, fièrement le maillot arc-en-ciel et il va manquer au Tour. Voilà, on sait que Julien, euh, toutes ces dernières années, ça fait déjà de nombreuses années qu'il brille, qu'il porte le maillot jaune sur chaque édition et qui qu fait rayonner la course. De, de son éclat, donc forcément, je pense qu'il va manquer à tous les passionnés de, de cyclisme. Mais, euh, mais voilà, on sait que c'est aussi les aléas d'une carrière de, de haut niveau. Et je pense que ça, ça rendra son retour sur le tour encore, encore plus beau. Romain, Christophe Godot, à Sport. Tu nous as dit que le tour t'avait manqué. Euh, à quel point il t'a manqué et qu'est-ce qui t'a manqué en particulier Ouais, ce qui m'a manqué, c'est, bon, on, on se rend bien compte que c'est euh, l'événement majeur de l'année. Et, euh, et puis, euh, notamment cette année, il y a tellement une variété de terrains que, euh, que voilà, les coureurs qui, vont, qui sont en jambes vont forcément pouvoir, pouvoir s'exprimer. Et je pense que j'avais besoin de cette année de recul aussi pour euh, en apprécier encore plus, euh, plus la grandeur. Donc, euh, là, ça m'a fait du bien. J'ai pu... Euh, je me recentrer sur d'autres choses et j'ai l'impression d'aborder euh, du coup euh, une nouvelle participation avec, euh, avec encore plus d'envie et surtout euh, avec des, des yeux d'enfant retrouvés. Do you have any questions in English? Uh, yes. Uh, hi, Roman. Um, what do you think of uh, Shankar Anas not being a part of the team uh, this year? I mean, uh, you know, there is only eight spots in, uh, in it team and uh, so at some point you have to make some some decision and uh, you know it's uh, it's uh, every team who want to choose the, the riders and uh, I have not much to say uh, about it it's, uh, it's just how it is for sure Seren is uh, such a as a guy and a super talented rider but uh, it's yet for the, the team decision and, uh, okay. and we are also the Do you think it is the right decision? I, I don't have to comment this one. You know, it's not uh, my responsibility to, to shape the, the team roster. So. Any more questions in English? Yes, um, Peter Maurer from Radsport News. Uh, Romain, uh, when you yesterday you tweeted, I think it was yesterday. Uh, with the planes, with a lot of people without masks. Uh, how are you afraid of catching COVID for the Tour de France? And what do you think uh, can be done as measurements to be safer? I think at the moment we are really uh, doing the right things. Uh, I mean, yeah, you, for sure. You, I think every rider is, uh, is very stressed about it. Uh, many guys uh, are in, uh, in Switzerland or after the race. And, um, and yes, some have been in trouble over the last past, uh, past days. You can uh, still see some changes in the lineup from, from the team uh, 
just a few days before before the start. So yeah, for sure the stress is there, but uh, except uh, trying to live uh, as safe as possible, you can't you can't do much more. So so yeah, for sure it's uh, it's still there, and uh, we don't know what will uh, happen. You can you can get sick or you can test positive, and uh, this is just uh, how it is. We just hope that uh, it was a bit behind us, but uh, apparently not. So so yeah, we just have to get used to that. Maybe another question in English? I can't hear you, sorry, man. That's okay. You can yeah. hear me now. At what time after the Giro, when you gave up, uh, the, the, um, the Tour de France came into your mind? Um, first of all, um, after the Giro, we take really uh, a week, uh, really easy because I had to, uh, I really had to recover from from the sickness, and uh, yeah, it took some uh, some time, and then we uh, we as the a team, they uh, yeah try to make the best possible plan to uh, look uh, further into the season, and then for sure I was super motivated, super keen to to go with the team uh, in the tour, so we try to make the best possible uh, approach to it. And uh, but for sure, it's uh, it was easier for me to switch from a uh, disappointment from the Giro to be able to to line up to to the tour. So yeah, and uh, even if it was not maybe perfect in the timing, we still have quite some time to four weeks for four weeks to to train. So in the end, uh, I was pretty happy that. Uh, I could start training again after one week and uh, be able to to build up the shape again for the tour. Uh, Romain, again, it's Peter from from Archbot News. Uh, it's your first tour after you changed the team. Uh, how excited are you after uh, this break of over two years returning to your home race? Yeah, it's uh, it's really super nice. Uh, Especially now uh, in the team, because uh, in uh, only one and a half year in the team, I already have some some good memories. And uh, but I, it's also it could also be my very first time uh, racing in France with the team. So yeah, it's good. It uh, it finally happened. And uh, yeah, but the for sure it's a bit different because um, yeah because uh, you know I. Also, on um, how we shaped the, the season and here, it was not all about the tour, so... I mean, yeah, I really take it also as a... as a, as a bit of an extra, and, and uh, I want to enjoy it and uh, as much as possible. Oh, yeah, uh, coming in the team presentation, uh, it's just pure, pure fun. You can see uh, the joy of the of the people around, and uh, it was a massive crowd yesterday. And uh, we have a really warm welcome. And now we we realize we we stepped into the race. So um, so now it's uh it was good, good to good to be back. And uh, yeah, also expect a lot of people in the coming three days. And what are you looking for in these in these opening three days? Is it just a case of getting through it, or are there moments that that you're you're really looking kind of um, you've noted like the bridge and obviously the the technicality of the time trial and things like that? You know the the hundred seventy six riders was really a bit uh, nervous about the uh, opening five stages. And uh, also, especially the first three in Denmark, because uh, no one know much of the road, and uh, yeah, we there is also this big uh, hype about uh, the wind who can blow at any time here. So for sure, it will be will be special. But we hope to to get through it and uh, hopefully get uh, some nice results in the sprint along the along the way. But yeah, we just have to approach it like uh, like a classic.
Any more questions? Otherwise, I'll go and uh, grab John from outside. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Just give me a few moments and I will just get John.